this thing was developed roughly 10 years ago, and it was a, a joint effort with uh, external partners in the University of Missouri. ZooSim was made for conducting research in transportation engineering. It is a safe environment to test out new strategies for improving transportation safety. My name is Jeff Zeilinga. I am the Dean of Students at the University of Missouri. My name is Elizabeth Farr. I'm a civil engineer. I'm Daniel Lewis. I'm a student athlete wrestler here at the University of Missouri. When I was doing the simulator in texting and driving, I definitely noticed, it, I mean, it takes your complete sight away from it because it's down here. So I noticed that, you know, you just run off the road just a little bit and a lot of people like to overcorrect, which is what I did. And then you just go all over the place. I thought it was a really good way to get in a car and put yourself kind of in learning situations, in reactive situations where it's not dangerous to the people around you or yourself. The simulation itself, it really resembled kind of downtown Columbia with a lot of stop signs, a lot of pedestrian traffic, a lot of like blocks, like tight corners and that sort of thing. So I thought it was a pretty good simulation for the driving environment here in Columbia. But I, I think I ran through a few stop signs, but that may have had something to do with the fact that I was texting at the same time. I'm not sure. I do not think anyone is good at texting while they are driving, regardless of the generation they're from. One out of every four car accidents in the United States is caused from texting and driving. When a driver is texting and driving, they are 23 times more likely to be involved in a critical incident. On average, 3,000 people are killed every year texting and driving. Take the challenge at modot.org backslash buckle up, phone down. Buckle up, phones down. Buckle up, phones down. Buckle up, phone down. Buckle up, phone down.